So one of the more puzzling results in the NFL that we've seen this season is what the hell that was yesterday in the desert between the Cowboys and the Cardinals in which the Arizona Cardinals led wire to wire and were a 13-point underdog in some places, 12.5 to 13 uh, from what my recollection in some places, and win and won that game outright and were pretty – Pretty impressive in doing so. We talked about this last week. Like you can say whatever you want about Arizona, they play their asses off. There's a lot of a uh, lot of optimism there, just with the way they're playing for Jonathan Gannon. But of course, it's the Cowboys, so it's going to come with a lot of criticism, including of Dak Prescott, who obviously threw that interception in the end zone, which Ooh, sealed the ugly. loss for the uh, Dallas ugly. Cowboys. Can can ugly. I make a public apology? for any of the jokes that we've made about the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, agreed. I mean, from, from like from the jump, the whole Jonathan get zip, zero, zero, you know, zero. shots, explosive. Like people yeah. took that, ran with it, made, he's got this team playing hard. I mean, this team, you know, say what you want. They, they could, they could be three and oh, if we're being real with ourselves, they, they, they could be three and oh. Josh Dobbs deserves all the credit in the world for doing something that's like it's so hard to do. I mean, operating an offense, being able to beat, I mean, arguably the best defense coming into this week. I think is that wasn't that what we'd call Dallas yes. based on how they've yes. looked? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe San Francisco you throw up there too, but it's, I mean, it's he, a conversation. He's played his ass off, man. And Jonathan Gannon took a blueprint of what they had in Philly. They've utilized enough of the quarterback run game and some of the things they're doing with RPOs and zone reads to, to play to Josh Dobbs' skill set. And defensively, these dudes are playing, man. I, I just we, – we tend to forget, and, and a lot of people would do the whole, well, any, any given Sunday, any team could be any team. Like, it's, yeah, to, to a degree, like that, you feel like that's true. This is different, though. This is a team that's, that's you know, not listening to an outside narrative. And they have been playing – their tails off every single week. So credit to those players, credit to the coaching staff. People try to joke. People try to make take shots at them for what we thought they were going to try to do and tank and all this stuff. That's not the case. Not, not when you do what they did to Dallas yesterday. Uh, I'll say this. I, I asked myself, the first question I asked myself was, do you keep Josh Dobbs in? when Kyler Murray returns? Like, does it become a more and more difficult proposition? And then maybe as the season goes along, it, I mean, until he gets – and how, how long is he supposed to be out for? That's the problem, though. With, with an ACL, it, you really should wait 12 months. So he should – like, so the season – I don't know that there's done. any rush. So if, if you're not in any rush and you're probably going to, let's say – you're thinking about moving on from him. I mean, does Josh Dobbs play well enough? Because he has the pedigree. It's not like you're bringing in a guy where you say, well, he didn't do anything in college, so I don't know that we have any trust or hope moving forward with him. I mean, you discovered a Brock Purdy, and he was a Mr. Irrelevant. I mean, is this one of those stories that are – know has the potential to bubble up and brew into saying you know what we could do it with josh dobbs we could uh, actually I mean, do it with josh dobbs I, i'm not I mean, there yet but okay. he, he's been great so far he's done a heck of a job i i've i've i was impressed i was impressed when i watched him i mean his 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 escapability his his command of of the offense there was there just seemed like there's a there's a level of confidence that's growing and and I feel like he's directly attributed to what that is on the offensive side of the ball. Now, I, I don't want to get carried away either, but it was a question. It was like, okay, all things given, with with Kyler Murray, like it could Josh Dobbs be the guy that that actually maybe settles into being the the guy for this team? Uh, you know, I just said it I was mean, a thought. Look, they were projected to be the worst team in the league by far. I mean, it, and it wasn't even close. And the conversation was, man, maybe Kyler Murray doesn't come back at all because he suffered the injury late in the season. Their win total was, what, four and a half? I, I right. think that was their win total before the I year. three and a half in some books. Yeah, it's, it's so I, I'm I'm on, on with Brady on this. We all took shots. 
you know, not the zoom zooms and stuff that Jonathan Gannon was talking about, but DeAndre Hopkins couldn't get out of there fast enough. Like it just, it felt like this was a full blown rebuild. Nobody wanted to be there. Remember, we were saving. We got to save Jesse Lucetta. We got to some. Yeah, somebody's got to go in there save and save. <laughs> and no, man, he's in. A, he seems like he's in a, a good spot there with Jonathan Gannon and the Arizona Cardinals. And I, I just, I'm impressed by Arizona. And I don't know if the Trayvon Diggs injury had anything to do with yesterday, but it sure seemed like Dallas on, couldn't man. stop, especially the run. Against that doesn't Arizona. have it. I mean, yeah. that's go, not going to make go that ahead, big huh? of a difference. It, it didn't go and make that big of a difference. They had, they had answers for Dallas's defense. Yeah. I mean they they did. And listen, the numbers weren't gaudy. It wasn't but but that's to me going into that game, you have the, arguably the best player in the National Football League and he's playing on the defensive side of the ball and you have a top defense in the league that that's coming into the game. Sure they had a uh, a a serious injury that that was, you know, leaves a a tremendous hole for for their defense and losing digs, but that shouldn't have been that shouldn't have been the catalyst of of an Arizona team that everybody felt would be a wounded team that that doesn't have the type of bite, the tooth in the mouth to be able to come in and do what they did in this game. Dallas, Dallas is Dallas, if you ask me. Dallas oh. is oh, Dallas. Is and a, let this me, is your moment. Here we go. This here is we your go. moment. Oh, no. You want to know why? You want to know why I continue why? the question what why? goes on with Dallas? Say I've it. told y'all before, Preach. and I'll tell you again. There are two things on Dallas's on Dallas's deal on on the checklist that Preach. I do not feel comfortable checking off. What were Say the two Lamar. things I told y'all? He who, said Dak Prescott, two? and he what said else? Dak Prescott. Yeah, what else? I don't what know else? the other one. I, I, Their O line. Their O line. And where were they at? On the sideline. They were there. On the sideline. Yeah, some of them. On the sideline. Yeah. You know where they were at? On the sideline. On the sideline. I heard they were on the sideline. Yeah. They were on the sideline. And you know what happened? And you know what happened? Their offense not only faltered, but now your defense has an off day. So you have an off day on defense. God bless. You had an off day. I mean, I love. I say I, I like Dobbs. It's a great little 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 story there developing. But he wasn't a world beater. He protected the ball. He made some strong decisions. But you look at Dallas's team, and you're telling me if you find yourself in a game, you can't respond to that. They put up nine points in the first quarter. You yeah. can't keep up with nine. They put up twelve points in the second quarter. Twelve. You can't. You can't keep up with twelve points. Come on now. You can, uh, honestly, you're saying this is a Super Bowl contending team. Yeah. Why can't we not keep up? <laughs> Say it. Look, that is that Preach. is such false enthusiasm on a Monday. I ain't gonna lie to you, but let me run with it. So you're telling me <laughs> that you guys speak to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? That was like your interpretation of like being in a Baptist church, but never <laughs> actually church. being yeah, in a Baptist in church. church. It's where yeah. I was raised. Don't Everybody, turn it. to it's your neighbor. Yes. <laughs> turn to your neighbor and ask them, why can't, why can't Dallas do what they need to do all, all right. the time? All right. We, to your point, though, I do think this opens up for questions about Mike McCarthy and oh, this come team. On. And where it's, it, it does, though. Like, like this is not that was not a game that Dallas should have had any issues with if they None. are truly a Super Bowl contender. And, and and yeah, like I'm gonna give all the credit to the Cardinals, the way they played and all that. And really they, they should be two and one. Right? They blew that game last week versus the Giants. They did. They did. So the hard thing for Arizona moving forward, as we just kind of put a bow on that, with that win loss total, whatever it was three and a half, four and a half. I, I did think I saw a couple books at three and a half. They go to San Fran next week. I mean, they got Cincy after that, which you've got to hope that Cincinnati's not playing with Burrow. Back-to-back weeks in the division to L.A. Rams, Seattle. Then they have Baltimore because they've got to play at the AFC North and then at Cleveland. Atlanta, at Houston, that doesn't look like an easy game anymore. And then again, a divisional game versus the L.A. Rams at Pittsburgh. Then they have their bye week 14. So, you know – Having a bye that late in the season doesn't do you a whole heck of a lot of good. Um, you hate when it's early, but you also hate when it's this late. And then they finish up with San Fran, the doormat of, of the Chicago Bears, at Philly, and then Seattle. 
they have a brutal schedule for a team that wasn't very good last year and a team that's currently got one win in the first three weeks. So I don't know if they're going to be able to hit that over, but it's uh, it's been it's been fun to watch this team fight. Like they've got some grit, they've got some fight to them. They do, and 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 their coaching staff and team deserves a ton of credit.